Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bryce with BIS Media and today I'm going to be showing you my PS4 and PS5 collection here. I'm going to show a image up on the screen because my closet is kind of small so there's no way I can get the full video camera footage of this. So you're just going to see some of the shelf but this is all the, all the games I do have on PS4, PS5. Uh, there's a little over 100 titles total and so we're, I have them all in alphabetical order so we're going to start off with the A's. And that is Alien Isolation. Uh, I played this a couple years ago. Absolutely great game. Next up, we have Batman Arkham Knight. I have not played this. As you will find out in a lot of these games I have, I have honestly not played them. Now we have Batman Return to Arkham. And that does have Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City in this bundle pack. Next up. We have Battlefield 4. Probably will play it pretty soon. Been feel like playing a shooter. Battlefield Hardline. We have the Bioshock, the collection. Uh, that does have Bioshock 1, Bioshock Infinite, or actually, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. Then this collection. We have Bloodborne. It's just gonna be like one of those Dark Souls type of games. Absolutely love this game. That was one of the very first games I ever did play on PS4. And uh, I'm sure they'll probably make a remaster at some point for PS5. Next up, we have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which is a Metroidvania type of game, just kind of like Castlevania side scroller. An awesome pickup. You can get this really cheap now. And I absolutely loved every single minute that I played it. I have to go back and try to play it again just because I love the Castlevania series and this is really a lot of fun. Hopefully one of these days they'll make an actual new Castlevania for next-gen consoles. And now we're getting into the Call of Duty series. We have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Played this one several years ago. We have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I have Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I think that's when they start going into space and all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> Now we got Call of Duty World War II. Not a bad one at all. And these are some of my more recent pickups. I have Castlevania, the anniversary collection from Limited Run Games. Got this one from Best Buy. This one does have Castlevania, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, Castlevania III, Dragon's Curse, uh, Super Castlevania IV, Castlevania Bloodlines, Kid Dracula, uh, Castle, the Castlevania Adventure, and then Castlevania II, Belmont's Revenge. Those are both the Castle Adventure and Belmont's Revenge were from the Game Boy. And this is an awesome collection to have. I originally got it digitally off the PlayStation Store, and then I saw that you could actually pick it up physically uh, from Limited Running Games. So I had to pick this one up because Castlevania is definitely one of my favorite game series of all time. And following up with that, if you guys have seen my unboxing on this, Castlevania Requiem has Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. Absolutely beautiful games. Uh, these aren't full remasters by any means. Um, it does have 1080p visuals. I'm sure it will upscale to 4K, of course, if you go to PS5. Um, I honestly haven't played this version of it yet. haven't got around to it yet. Um, I know it just has updated trophy support and the different backgrounds you can put because these are only going to be the 4-3 ratio aspect. I'm sure you could blow it up, but it's not going to look too great since it's still you know, only 16-bit games. Or, I'm sorry, those are... 32 bit, you know, if it's if it's PS1 for Symphony of the Night. But next up, we have Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy. Played all three of these. Absolutely love these games. Before actually buying this, I'd never played them before, so that was a lot of fun. Next up, have Cuphead. Um, this was also another recent unboxing I did. Haven't got around to playing this one, but it's a side scroller shooter. It's supposed to be extremely difficult, so. Kind of looking forward to playing that one. Uh, next up, we have The Dark Pictures, House of Ashes. I don't have The Devil in Me just yet. Uh, that's the only one I don't have out of this Dark Pictures anthology. Next up, we have Little Hope, Dark Pictures. And then Dark Pictures, Man of Meaden. Now, we'll say House of Ashes is probably my absolute favorite out of all of this. Next up, we have Darksiders, War Mastered Edition. Have beat and played that one. Pretty fun game. Darksiders 3. I do also have Darksiders 2, but that one's only on PS3 that I have it on, so 
I skipped over that one. Maybe eventually I'll get the, the HD version of that one. Uh, we have Dark Souls Remastered. Played this one not too long ago. Pretty fun game. I had never played the original version of it back on PS3. We have Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. And then Dark Souls 3. I have not played the second or third one. Those games just take so much time. That... And then we have the Dead Rising series. Absolutely love playing these games. It's always fun just to hack and beat up some zombies with whatever you can find. Dead Rising 2 to follow up that one. I'm pretty disappointed that I have Dead Rising 3 on PlayStation. Uh, but here's also Dead Rising 4, Frank's big package. A lot of fun. I will say the difficulty was a lot easier on this one, but there's all kinds of awesome, u awesome uses that you can find for, for killing zombies in that game. All right, continuing on with the Ds, we have Death Stranding. I actually picked this up. I believe it was either, I think it was either two dollars or seven dollars at Walmart. Haven't got around to playing it, but uh, that was a great pickup and. Uh, Look forward to playing this at some point. Keep seeing mixed reviews about this game, so we'll see about it. Destroy Humans, the remaster from PS2. I actually never played the PS2 version of this, and I decided to pick this up. I love all the PS4, PS5 remasters that have come out, so it was a lot of fun to play that one. We have the Devil May Cry HD collection, and that does have Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3. Absolutely love those games. Those are a lot of fun. We have Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. have not played the fifth one. I actually don't think I've played any of the Devil May Cry's past the third one. It's been so long now, so maybe eventually I'll get around to playing it. Next up, we have Doom, the great shooter. We got Doom Eternal. I just picked this one up uh, probably a few months ago. I haven't got around to playing this one, but I definitely look forward to it. Doom is always such a fun shooter. We have Dying Light, the following. Uh, that's like the enhanced edition of it. Picked this one up several years ago. I've not got, got around to playing it, but I've always seen all the positive reviews for it. Next up, we have Elden Ring. Haven't got around to playing this one just because it's that Dark Souls type, so you have to really grind it out, put some time into it. Just haven't had time for it recently. We have Everybody's Golf. Absolutely love this game. Any of the any of the Everybody's Golf type of, I should say, Hot Shots Golf, and they also call it Everybody's Golf. I believe it was in Japan or something. That's where the name originally came from. Absolutely love it. So much fun to play. And then one of the originals that ever came out on next-gen consoles for PS4 was The Evil Within. I believe that was the very first game I ever got for PS4. And ended up playing it several years ago and absolutely loved it. Um, originally, I wasn't too excited about it when I first tried to pick it up and play it. And then several years later, I went around to it and just couldn't put it down. Next up, we have Evil Within 2 have not played the second one yet, but I will get around to it eventually. We got Far Cry 4. Have not played that one yet either. I'm kind of hit or miss on the Far Cry series. Some of them are pretty good, and then some of the other ones, I'm just like, eh. We have Game of Thrones, the Telltale Edition. I've, I've tried to pick up most of the Telltale, Telltale game series, and I haven't played this one just yet, but I, I definitely will. It's always an easy platinum. God of War 3 Remastered. This is my absolute favorite game series to play of all time. Had to pick this one up on the remastered version. Next up, let's see if we can get it. We have God of War for the next-gen consoles. Absolutely love that one. Still can't touch the original uh, series that came out for the PS2. I just can't, just can't touch them at all. God of War Ragnarok. Absolutely love this one too. And did a, a recent unboxing uh, back in, I believe, December for this one. Couldn't put that one down. That's actually the last game I did beat. We have Guitar Hero Live. I haven't played that one in a while, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing the servers are still going for that. We have Hidden Agenda. This is kind of a strange game. I don't think a lot of people talk about it. You can use your phones to play with other people. And honestly, it only takes about, I think it only took me about an hour to actually beat that just solo. And I'm sure it would be the same for if you play with other people too. Got Hitman Definitive Edition, pretty fun game. Got Hitman 2, and then to finish up that trilogy, got Hitman 3, which I've not got around to just yet. I will say the PS2 series of Hitman is my definite go-to. Do have Horizon Zero Dawn, have not played it. I've seen all the rave reviews. Got Infamous Second Son, have not played this one yet either. Got Injustice Gods Among Us. I got this one like the PS4 first came out. I probably really won't ever play it again unless a friend really comes over because I'm just not super big into fighting games, but I picked this up for dirt cheap. So I was like, eh, why not? 
mix up. I got It Takes Two. Um, I've probably beaten about 75% of it. I first played with my wife and she does, does not like the game <laughs> whatsoever. So I don't have anybody to play with right now. My brother tried to come over and play it with me, but uh, ran out of time and I don't actually have PlayStation Plus. Um, so I just don't ever really play online. So I haven't got to play with anyone and finish it up. So that's another one of those. Have just because four, I know this is going to be one of those big shooters. I always see it on dirt cheap sales, and that's why I picked it up. I haven't got around to playing it, but I, I definitely will at some point. And I'm going to get this down here, and we have Killzone Shadowfall. Beat that one several years ago. Uh, we have Kingdoms of a Amalar Re Reckoning. I believe this was a PS3 or PS2 remastered got it for about uh five or five or seven dollars i believe at walmart is one of those cheap sales and just picked it up have not played it yet i got knack this was one of the first titles on ps4 haven't played that one yet either as you can see i haven't played a lot of these games which is sad i know i have the last of us remastered absolutely loved it that's one of my favorite games on playstation by far last of us part two i think i got this on pre-order as soon as it first came out story is just not as good as the first one then we have Lego Harry Potter, the collection. And it's going to have Harry Potter years one through four and Harry Potter years five through seven. Got that one, I think, for like $3. Really cheap on sale. And then we got Marvel, the Avengers. And I keep seeing all the different mixed reviews out there, but I think I got that for like $10. And then we have Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Definitely enjoyed it. If you love the Telltale, you will like these for sure. We got Marvel Spider-Man. Had to platinum that one, but I just couldn't put it down once I started playing it. It was so much fun. Do have Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Have not actually got around to playing this one. I don't know why. There's just been a couple of the titles I've been really kind of interested in. And it's been on the back burner. We have PS4 Medi-Evil. It's going to be a PS1 remaster. Super fun. They did a great job on this remaster. So if you've not played it, definitely check it out for sure. We have Mega Man 11. Have all the other Mega Man games. Haven't played this one just yet, but I've, I've always been really interested in any kind of side-scrollers and any kind of continuation of old-school series. Uh, we have Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes, and The Phantom Pain. So this is the definitive experience. I got about probably a quarter of the way into it. I just really couldn't get into it. It doesn't follow the storyline, I think, of like the first few of them, all the way up to Metal Gear Solid Four, And I just can't really get into all the different missions you have to do. They just feel like busy work to me. So maybe eventually I'll... I'll finish it up. Next up, we have Metro Redux. That's going to have Metro 2033 Redux and Metro Last Light Redux. I actually played it, but I found it for really cheap. And I saw, I think it was about, it was like a first person shooter shooting zombies or some kind of monster. So I was like, uh, count me in. All right, so that's all the M's. Actually, we have a little bit more M's down here on the next shelf. We have Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Mordor. I got this one for about $5 or so many years ago. Easy pickup. Haven't played it yet, though. I got Middle Earth Shadow of War. Another cheap pickup as well. Have Monopoly, the family fun pack. This game is so much fun to play with friends. It's just a lot less messy than getting out the board game. Mortal Kombat XL. Always fun if you got a friend that can come over and play. The Nio Collection. Now, this is another one of those discounted games I got at Walmart. I got it for, I think, $7, brand new. Nio Remastered and Nio 2 Remastered, or I believe it's Nio or Neo. I can't ever say it correctly, <laughs> but I absolutely love these. This is the Dark Souls games as well. And it's Samurai style, so it was a lot of fun. I've beaten both of those. And we have the PS2 remaster version of Onimusha Warlords. I guess it's technically not a remaster. They did slap on some 1080p uh, visuals with trophy support. A lot of fun. This is the latest game I've gotten is Pac-Man World Repack. I actually haven't played it yet, but it looks like it's a lot of fun. And I've always been a fan of all the kinds of uh, Pac-Man games out there. So you can check out that unboxing. We have The Order 1886. Picked this one up many years ago. It's a pretty fun game. It's just kind of like a Telltale series in a way. And then we have the Outlast Trinity. Man, when I say I'm a fan of horror games, this is it. Except for not being able to fight back. I don't like that part, but this is just absolutely a blast to play. It's pretty creepy, especially if you're playing with some headphones or home theater late at night. And we got Prey. Picked this one up. I bought this one for my dad for pretty cheap because he didn't want it anymore. Haven't got around to playing it. Heard some mixed reviews on that game. 
This is the current game that I've been playing is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I've only played about a couple hours into it, but it's been a lot of fun. But just, man, recently I've not had a whole lot of time to play some games, so hopefully I'll get to finish that up pretty soon. Now we have Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't actually have the first one. Pick this one up. I've been hearing some good reviews about it. I know it's it's been some years now, but uh, yeah, it looks like fun, and I'll definitely have to play it soon. Resident Evil Origins. This is going to have Resident Evil 0 and the original Resident Evil Remastered. Absolutely fantastic pickup, and they can get those for like $20 now. Uh, we have Resident Evil 2 Remastered. Great game. Let's move some of these out the way. We got Resident Evil 3 Remastered. Resident Evil 4. Uh, this is just the HD slap on of the original. It's not the remake. Don't have that one just yet. Look forward to getting it. I'm just wait until it gets cheaper because I have it on PS2, Wii, GameCube. And on PS4s. <laughs> I already have all the copies I can get besides that remaster. Uh, this is the Resident Evil 5 remaster. Got Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Resident Evil Village. And then Resident Evil Revelations 2. I beat all the Resident Evils. That's another one of my favorite game series. Love horror games that are shooters. Can't put them down for sure. We got Shadow of the Colossus. Have not played this one yet. Want to eventually. I know of all the, the lore it gets, especially on PS2, so I definitely have to check it out. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Have not played this one either, but I do love the Tomb Raider series, so I know for sure it will get played at some point. Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn. <laughs> I got this, I think, for $10 many years ago, and I actually played it, I think, this last year, and it was actually pretty fun. It's just a size girl. I beat him up. Uh, next up, we have Shovel Knight. This is going to be kind of one of those Metro, Me Metroidvania in a way. A lot of fun side scroller. And we have South Park, The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> Super fun game. Hilarious. So raunchy. This cracks. We have this like the show. Uh, we have SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottle Rehydrated. This is a PS2 remaster. A lot of fun. Actually, I never played the original, so I had a lot of fun playing that. And we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And I think the Jedi Survivor just came out a couple days ago. So I had a lot of fun playing this one. So I'll definitely have to get the Survivor game. We have Star Wars Racer and Commando Combo. Just recently got this one. Did an unboxing. You can check that out. We got Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Going to have the first three games. I played most of the first one, but not have checked out the other ones just yet. We have Thief. Did not play that one just yet either. Titanfall 2, got it for cheap yet again, have not played it. <laughs> we have Terminator Resistance Enhanced. This was actually a pleasant surprise. I love the Terminator movies, so I wanted to check out the game, and it was a lot of fun. I did Platinum this one. And then we have the Uncharted series, the Nathan Drake Collection. This has been converted so many times. There's not a PS5 or master version of all of these, but have those. And then moving on towards the end here, Uncharted 4, Thief's End, absolute masterpiece. Love the Uncharted series. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I don't think a lot of people talk about this one, but it's a pretty fun entry into the Uncharted series. Uh, we have Until Dawn, a great game. It's kind of like a telltale in a way. We have Vampire. That one was pretty fun. I played that one a couple years ago. I feel like that one's kind of flying underneath the radar for sure, but it's not a bad game. It does have its quirks, but it's, it's pretty fun to play still. We have The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive series that's going to have all four of these seasons. Love the Telltale series of just about any game or show they have out there, so I had a lot of fun playing all these. And then I have Wolfenstein, The New Order. Absolutely fun if you just want to shoot some Nazis. <laughs> we have Wolfenstein, The Old Blood. And then finishing up here, we have Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, and then Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol at Recently got this one too. This is also from Limited Run Games. And I did an unboxing on this one. This is going to be an HD version with trophy support uh, for some Super Nintendo games. So that's all the physical games I do have. I also have some other digital games that are obviously not going to be here. And I have Ghost and Goblins Resurrection, A Plague Tale Innocence, Everybody's Tennis, both of the Batman Telltale series, the Zombie Army Trilogy, Forbidden Siren, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. South Park Stick of Truth, Kung Fury Street Rage, Lords of the Fallen, Life is Strange, Murder Soul Suspect, Rayman Legends, Tales from the Borderlands, and Arcane Game Series, which includes Pac-Man, Dig Dug, and Galaga. So 
that is a lot of titles I have. Obviously, I have not played all of these, as I was just saying, as I went through these. And I know it's kind of embarrassing somewhat, but I'm also a collector. I just can't keep up with them, especially with how many hours it goes into each of these games. So that is all of the PS4, PS5 collections. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave me a comment on what games that you have that you're curious about, and I'll answer those in the comment section below. That being said, guys, I will see you all in the next video, and thank you so much for watching.